Mastering mornings. Wake up to English with alarm clocks. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our series on learning English. Today, we'll focus on a crucial part of our morning routine, something that often gets our day started. Waking up to alarm clocks and setting alarms. By the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently talk about these daily activities in English. Let's get started. The alarm clock is one of the most commonly used devices to help us wake up in the morning. Whether it's a traditional alarm clock sitting on your bedside table or a smartphone alarm app, these devices make sure we start our day on time. In English, when the alarm goes off, it means it starts to ring or make noise. Example phrases you could use include, my alarm clock went off at 6 a.m. I wake up to my alarm clock every morning. Try using these phrases in your own sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now, let's move on to how we might set alarms. This is an action often done before we go to sleep. It's the process of selecting a specific time for the alarm to go off. You can use the phrase, set the alarm, to describe this action. Here are some examples. I set my alarm for 7 a.m. She sets her alarm 15 minutes earlier to have time for a morning workout. Practice using, set the alarm, in a sentence. What time do you set your alarm for in the morning? In addition to setting alarms and waking up to them, we often have habits or routines associated with our alarms. Maybe you're someone who hits the snooze button a few times before getting up, or perhaps you always turn off your alarm and get out of bed right away. These are all part of your morning alarm routine. Example sentences include, I always hit the snooze button at least twice before I get up. He turns off his alarm as soon as it goes off and jumps out of bed. Think about your own habits and try to describe them in English. And there you have it. We've learned how to discuss waking up to alarm clocks, setting alarms, and talking about our alarm habits in English. Remember, the key to mastering these phrases is repetition and practice. I hope you found this lesson helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll continue our journey through English language learning. Happy practicing!